Greetings, everybody. I am Lobo, and welcome to episode 39 of my Minecraft survival series. Um, hello. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> All right, well, let's try that again because that slime completely threw me off and I forgot what I was going to say because, well, there's not supposed to be another place for slimes to spawn down there outside of our slime farm. So apparently I opened up a slime chunk somewhere as I was digging. Uh, but that's not what we're working on today. What we're working on today is our dark oak farm. And as you can see, I kind of started drawing out a little bit of area where I was planning to put this thing initially. And then, you know, I just realized it's not going to work uh, because, well, I don't want random trees sprouting up that we're just going to be cutting down. I don't like that idea. And also, it's just not going to give us the coverage, the leaf coverage that we need to get enough saplings. Like even this right here, like it. I just realized we were taking a steady loss in the number of saplings that we've actually been getting back when we cut down these things. So, you know, we have to take that into consideration. Um, have you guys noticed this? Like, as I have over the past few weeks, uh, more and more of our villagers have been getting out of their safety area here in the village, their old village. Um, uh, and I just don't understand how they're doing it because this whole thing, I'm going to walk the perimeter real quick with you. This whole thing should be sealed off and there should be no way on earth that they can actually get out of here. And I still don't see how they're doing it. I've never observed them crossing the fence line here. But they're getting out somehow, and I just, I don't know <laughs> how you're doing it. Tell me your secrets. Um, you know what? If you guys want to be out, that's fine. That's fine. We'll go ahead and get rid of this fence. We'll let you stay out, because at this point, the fence is doing a better job of keeping them out of their houses than keeping them in them. So, you know, we'll go ahead and open this area up, because we are going to tear down the fence in the original village houses eventually anyway. And we might as well go ahead and just see if they can survive the nights out here in Luna. Do you, do you feel up for that? Do you feel up for that? Oh man, blame your blame your brethren over here because they're the ones that have brought this upon you. I just hope you don't get eaten by a zombie. Woo. Anyway, back to the matter at hand. We were talking about our dark oak farm and where we might want to put this thing. And I was thinking out here might be a good choice because it's just outside of our business district. But then again, it's not inside the business district where I want to have all our main resource collecting farms. Um, so I, I just don't know. I don't know if out here is a great idea. Uh, so I need to think about it. And I was thinking while I'm thinking about that, why don't we go ahead and take care of the uh, exterior city walls here, here, the business district walls. Let's go ahead and knock those out. And hopefully during that time, I can kind of figure this out a little bit better. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and put on some music and finally, finally get this thing done.
man. Between the grounds and the uh, the walls right here, that was rough. That was about 10 hours worth of uh, footage in that time lapse. Maybe a little bit less than 10 hours. But we got the uh, the main portions of the business district wall, exterior walls done. That means, well, not even the exterior walls because the interior walls have been done for quite a little bit. So these are all knocked out. And I just want to kind of give you a quick overview of it, show you guys what it looks like before it gets dark out here while we still have the chance because I have come up with an idea for where we're going to put the dark oak farm. So we can't get a really good view from right here. Let me head out just a little bit further just to kind of show you guys what we did because that was a lot of work to not show you. So yeah, I'm liking that. Obviously we'll be doing some more terraforming of the land, uh, but not right now. That's not what we're working on right now. Right now, I just want to get inside before it gets dark and I get attacked and get <laughs> this whole place creepered because that would be very upsetting for me at this moment. So let's go ahead and get inside. We'll lock the door and uh, yeah, onward to today's project. So we were talking about how we want to put our dark oak farm somewhere. We we're thinking outside, maybe around this way. And you know, I kind of got to thinking we could actually run a path up from the entrance of our tree farm right here. Um, oh, I don't have a jump boost beacon anymore. I took the, the jump boost beacon out of there and put it over there at Dunder Minecraft to do the wall over there. But anyway, um, we're not going to do that. So let me stop telling you what we're not going to do and what we are going to do. So you remember the cave that's kind of over there underneath uh, that least our farming district? I was thinking maybe what would be a better idea is if we carved a cave into this wall right here as well. That way it keeps a tree farm inside of our actual business district where it's supposed to be. So we can actually make a structure on, like in front of this that leads through this thing, I'm thinking. And hopefully this will give us enough room to work this in here and I think it will. I think it I think this is going to be great. This is going to be perfect. This is like the perfect amount of space for us to have like a modest little acacia and dark oak farm in here. Maybe we could also throw in a little leaf farm as well and maybe a little vine farm. Uh it just kind of I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we can do with it. So let me go ahead and start clearing out some of this area and I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out. So since we're going to be planting trees in here and those trees are going to grow, uh, we might want to give this room a fairly decent height. So I think we might clear it out to maybe about ground level right there. We'll dip down into the ground. Um, and my method for doing this is basically to plant torches like all over the place. I'll clear out an area, two blocks high, plant torches, then clear out another two block high area, plant torches, and rinse repeat till I'm done. And the main reason why I'm doing that, that why I'm taking the extra time to plant these torches, is simply because I hate getting attacked when I'm trying to do stuff. Like when I'm doing this, I like to just put on music and go to town. You know, it can be very relaxing for me and it's hard to relax when you're either A, getting blown up or B, picking arrows out of your forehead. So <laughs> we got a decent way to go and I'm gonna go ahead and knock a little bit more of this out now. Well, it appears as if my inventory is full yet again. Um, we do have a couple more layers to go until we get down to ground level. Uh, the difference is this time my shovel is about to die and I honestly don't feel like mending it. Uh, so I think what we're gonna do is leave here real quick. And I should have done this so long ago because I hate having to mend tools in the middle of doing something. I think we're gonna go talk to Chad over at uh, the Enchanted Pickaxe and we're gonna buy maybe a new pickaxe and shovel and uh, go ahead and enchant those and just have a secondary set of tools with which to do our work during episodes so that way I can just mend in between episodes because I honestly don't feel like doing any villager trading at this moment. I really don't. I mean, these, these chests, as I start emptying them out, they fill right back up. <laughs> Like immediately, there's no way we're ever going to have enough storage until we get our big main storage system built. And that's probably not going to be for a while. So before we talk to Chad, let's head over here to Dunder Minecraft. We'll pick up a few emeralds and then, uh, um, hi. Hey guys, Dwight, Ryan, and, uh, random farmer who I have not met. How did, uh, how did you get in here? You're not supposed to be here. Uh, oh, I know what happened. Dwight, Ryan, this is a place of business. Come on, guys. A pleasure doing business with you, as always, Chad. So he gave us an Unbreaking 3 pickaxe. Um, I wanted to buy a shovel, too, but they don't sell diamond shovels. They only sell iron shovels, which I forgot about. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to go ahead and grab some diamonds, or a diamond, at least, and make a diamond shovel. Uh, that way we can get some enchanting done on that. So I think what I'm going to do... What the plan is, is I'm going to head over to the Flying Wolf Man, grab some enchanted books, then head up there to uh, our attic and do some anvil and enchanting stuff. Uh, so yeah, we'll do that, and uh, I'm in a hole. <laughs> Let me put my emeralds away, we'll do that, and we'll see what we get. 
So I think I finally perfected my method of getting out of here when these guys are crowding the door like crazy men right here. <laughs> He's a little stir crazy, huh? You don't like being locked in here? Uh, you know what? It's better than being outside in this thunderstorm. So basically what I'm going to try to do is just jump up and hit the trap door, open it, and then when I walk over the pressure plate, like it actually closes the trap door behind me. These doors close. They can't step on the pressure plate to reopen the trap door and they're stuck in there. Whew. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad we got that sorted. All right, so let's see what kind of base enchants we can get on our brand new shovel right here. So we can get Unbreaking 3 and Efficiency 4 and Silk Touch. That is, that is great, actually, that's awesome. All right, so I think I got the reading list picked out for our brand new tools here. So our Unbreaking 3 pickaxe, he is going to be reading Efficiency 4 and Silk Touch, which I think he'll really enjoy. We're also going to add Efficiency 4 and Mending to that, so that'll make it Efficiency 5, which will be pretty cool. Our diamond shovel right here, our efficiency four silk touch on breaking three diamond shovel will be reading mending and efficiency four, making him efficiency five silk touch and break three mending. That can go back in there. And uh, we also need some string and some sticks to make a new bow. So do I have any string in this fish farm anywhere? It does not appear as if I do. And all the bows are, well, they're, they're crap. So uh, yeah, I guess uh, we'll just have to head down to our string farm which is slightly less convenient than picking it up right here, but I will take these sticks, thank you. All right, so we have our bone barrier right here. We also need to fix the wolf's revenge, so we got a brand new bow that we can throw on that. 17 levels, wow, um, that's kind of expensive, but you know what? It is definitely worth it. I mean, really, what else are we gonna use? 41, we're down to 41, wow. All right, well, I mean, what else are we gonna use those levels for? Um, it's really only for this, so. Yeah, let me um go ahead and we'll get some more food. We'll carb load and then we'll head back into our little area that we're working on today and uh, finish digging. All right, so we got this area kind of dug out and this is the perimeter that we're gonna be working with. We're gonna have basically a big square room. I'm thinking that's gonna be centered around our beacon light in the middle. Um, so if we hop up here real quick, we can kind of see what we're gonna deal with. So yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty wide open space and what I'm thinking we can do is we can have our dark oaks planted about two diagonal blocks from the beacon light here. And we're gonna center this whole room around this beacon light. So we'll do two more right here and we'll do this the whole way around. And what I'm hoping is that this is gonna be plenty enough room to give each of these dark oaks their individual canopies. Um, I'm not sure exactly how much space is really needed. So we're just kind of winging it. And uh, as far as acacia, I think we're gonna do a ring of acacia around the dark oak and um, probably regular oak around the perimeter. And uh, we'll collect our leaves from that. I don't know, I'm gonna kind of get this area laid out and I'll be back with you guys in just a minute. Ow. What is, what is wrong with you? Jeez. That's what I get for taking my torches out. So I kind of wanted to reposition the entrance to this room so that way when we come in, we're kind of just diagonal from the beacon light right there. We'll have that dead center. Are you serious right now? Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> oh man. All right, I've been trying so hard to keep these guys out of, guys out of here, but fine. Uh, so we got our dirt patches in here now and uh, we'll have our dark oak on the middle right here, as we were saying before, and we'll have four of those. And uh, on the outliers, we'll have uh, three more. So we'll have seven of those in total and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 acacia planted a ring around those. And um, on the outliers, we'll have the perimeter surrounded by regular oak, which will give us our leaves. As I said, I'm not too concerned with saplings for those. So th those are gonna be planted more inefficiently. But I think what we're gonna do, are you listening? What we're gonna do <laughs> is go ahead and put on some music and knock out the rest of this room. So how's that sound? You good with that? Yeah, cool. Let's do it. <laughs>
All right. So back up here in the attic, uh, I had to consult Mr. Hanzo, our weaponsmith right here, about enchanting shears. And he actually demonstrated for me that, yes, you can enchant shears, just not with the enchanting table. You have to use the anvil and a book. So, uh, yeah, we're going to put Unbreaking 3 on each of our shears here. And we're going to take all of those down to the, uh, the leaf farm. So that we can harvest some leaves and vines whenever we want to and not have to worry about going through tons and tons of iron, making new shears all the time. This is definitely going to help a whole lot with that. So, uh, yeah, thank you, Mr. Hanzo. We will be back to converse later. Um, enjoy my attic, won't you? And uh, you guys, these guys are enjoying my bedroom a bit too much. <laughs> They've just taken over. We're going to need a new place to live. I think we are actually outgrowing this place, the upstairs of the Enchanted Pickaxe. So we might put Mr. Hanzo in charge of the Enchanted Pickaxe. But everybody seems to be doing good here. Like, nobody's gotten eaten by zombies. They're all pretty much going about their business, doing what they do. Um, and it looks like we even have one that's come over here to the Timberland Automatic Tree Farm. And he's just hanging out on the balcony. So, uh, yeah, you do you, bro. Anyway, let's head in here and see what we did. Um, if I can get these slime blocks in <laughs> We don't want any uh, villagers coming down here, even though this entire place is non-spawnable. We just don't want them in here. Uh, so we have our dark oak, we have our acacia, and we have our regular oak, which we'll use for leaves. And uh, yeah, we also have um, vines that are down here as well that we can harvest whenever we want to. And you know, I guess a demonstration is probably in order. So let's go ahead and break out our unbreaking three shears and just kind of do this real quick. And yeah, um, vines that are along the walls, you can actually harvest them in any order you really want to. Once they're hanging though, you want to try to harvest those from the bottom up, otherwise you'll lose some. Uh, leaves are easy, you just kind of wail on them. I want to see if the efficiency has any effect on the vines though. So if we, ooh, yes, that actually does seem like it is much faster. This is efficiency three, I believe. So maybe we can do more efficiency on these. But yeah, hanging vines, you want to take from the bottom up, otherwise you'll end up losing the ones underneath the one you took. Uh, we also have some storage that we're going to work in under here for our excess vines and leaves that we're not going to take with us. Uh, but overall, though, we're going to be using plenty of vines and leaves throughout the city. Uh, so we definitely need to have a good means of collecting them. And I think this is going to be a great way to harvest these. Um, as you can see up there, the height of these oak trees are limited by those stairs. So that means we're not going to get any crazy gnarled oaks, which means they will all grow straight. They will all grow fairly low that we can chop them down fairly easy and replace them. They're kind of hard to get when the leaves are attached to the vines, though. Uh, but yeah, we can replace these logs very easily if we just break out our axe and just chop them down. And of course, uh, we're going to have to replant them afterwards. And we're going to have to depend on the saplings we get from our automatic tree farm to replenish our oak sapling supply. Because uh, right here, we're obviously not getting saplings since we're just taking leaves. So we're going to be keeping... Those are bones. We're going to be keeping saplings in this chest right here, which I still have to label. Uh, so we'll take our oak saplings and just basically replant them, let them regrow, regrow some leaves for us, and we'll do it all over again. Now, if we head upstairs, you can see that we have additional storage up here because we're running out of space up top. And uh, if we come this way, like I have some plans for this whole area, like how this goes underground. I want this to link into a very large network of areas that we can access. Like you see, this looks like a dead end when you're approaching it. But if you look over here, you can see there's actually a door and I want to I want to work out like secret areas that we can get to from our tree farm here. Uh, so if we pop down here, you can see the first area we've kind of linked up to. Does this look familiar? It is actually going to lead us through this long corridor down to our control room and into our science lab. Um, and we can also access our regular tree farm from here, too, because that makes sense. Like we want to have access to all our logs in one place. So basically, you know, if we get logs we need from here and we decide we want, hey, we want dark oak, we want acacia, we want something else, we want leaves. We can just come right through this way, hop down here and gather what we need. Uh, so we're going to be adding efficiency to these shears. Four sets of shears with like unbreaking and efficiency four or five on them. This is just ridiculous. This is like one of the craziest things I've ever done. But there's a reason for this because we have plenty of books. The books aren't a big deal. We have plenty of books to go around. Uh, the levels though, the reason I am burning through these levels. <laughs> efficiency five shears. Do we do it guys? Do we do it? Uh, we did it. <laughs> The reason why we're burning through these levels is because we're down to three now uh, is because chances are next episode, we're probably going to lose all of them. So we might as well get what we can out of them while we can, you know? So that's a little hint for next episode. High probability of death. 
We'll leave it at that. <laughs> All right, so I went ahead and took out one more level to make a name tag for the villager that came down here. So we're going to name him Zompano. Zompano, you're going to be the caretaker of this place since you seem to like it so much. So enjoy it here in the House of Leaves. Take very good care of it because this is a special place, my friend, and it's going to get much, much bigger, so you'll have a big responsibility on your hands. But that is it for today. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, please feel free to hit that little thumbs up button. That would mean so very much to me. And if you want to see more, please remember to subscribe. And as always, I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I deeply, deeply appreciate it. And until next time, I am Lobo, and I will see you guys later.